We really need to normalize talking about this subject and just have a new level of openness because it is far more common than you have been led to believe. There are 23 million miscarriages globally every year, which means one every 44 seconds. If you are in the United States with me, there are 1 million miscarriages every year here, which is 2,700 every day. With rates like this, numbers as big as this, it is safe to assume that pretty much everyone around you has experienced this or knows someone who has experienced it. That's the first roadblock that we need to overcome. And here is another sobering statistic. Something like 70% okay, of conceptions are lost before birth. So if you have a fertilized egg, is a 70% chance that it will not make it. And yes, a lot of these are happening within the first few days or the first like two weeks. You may not even know that you're pregnant when it actually occurs. Which means if you think you've never had one, you probably actually have and just didn't know it. The next thing we need to talk about is who is to blame because it is not the person having the miscarriage. This is not a shortcoming. It is not anything to do with a fault in you. You'll often see charts like this and I feel like it's assigning blame to the, oh, you're older and so your body just can't do it. When the fact of the matter is it has everything to do with the egg's age. Remember that if you're a person with ovaries, your egg supply developed at 20 weeks in utero, like when you were inside your mom. So by the time you're 45, those eggs, your ovaries, everything have just been through some stuff. Down here, you're gonna see this chart laying out sort of the most common causes of miscarriage. Anywhere you see the word karyotype is gonna mean that it was genetic. It was out of your control from the get-go. It was just something in the actual coding that went wrong and the body has safety mechanisms to make sure that it is not going to waste resources and time and put you in danger in an effort to build something that would never survive. But I find this category the most interesting. This is sort of nature's version of oops. And despite what some people think or believe, nature does the oops thing way more often than we would like. If you take nothing else away from this video and you've gone through a miscarriage or you are or you do in the future, please remember that it is not your fault and be gentle with yourself. Now I'm going to share Jen and I's experience with that. Jen is my wife. She's my best friend. She's my everything. And this was a few years ago, but I can tell you that miscarriage grief is a very peculiar kind of grief because it's kind of a it's kind of a person you never knew. It's a future that you'd never saw. It's, it's, it's just, it's really weird. Here we go. So we had found out very early on, went in to kind of confirm things. And this was literally at the stage where it's still a round ball of cells. You're basically seeing the yolk sac. And there was the flutter of cardiac activity. And so naturally, the very first time they name, they, they label it and they say, oh, baby, and here's the heartbeat. And that's not actually what's happening at that phase. That's a whole nother thing, a whole nother video. But we went back for a subsequent sort of con confirmation appointment. And I think this was after six weeks. So in our, in our, or probably my infinite wisdom, I was like, oh, we could bring the kids. It might have even been that we couldn't find somebody to take the kids and they just had to come along to the appointment. And so I'm sitting there, you know, everything had gone fine with them. And so I've got the camera, you know, I'm holding my phone up like this at the ultrasound screen. And I should have known there was something wrong because there's no motion at all. And I hear the sonographer, the ultrasound person say, you know, I'm not, I'm not seeing any activity. Uh, do you know what that means? And my kids, their eyes are glued to this thing because they're thinking, you know, oh, I got a new brother or sister. And all of a sudden there was just this pressing vacuum that entered the room. And it was made all the worse by the fact that our two kids are there because they got introduced to a concept that we were not ready for them to be introduced to. And then also had our own like kick in the stomach kind of thing happening at the same time. And it was awful. And it's still, it's still awful. After all of these years, there's, there, there's still something there. And there's not a lot of there's not a lime or not a lot of rhyme or reason to it. But I, I think it gives me 
like I more I more fully understand how it must feel to lose a child, and I can't ever imagine that because it must be horrible. Because miscarriage is horrible, and I didn't even get to meet that person yet. I know that was a lot. Please normalize talking about this.